السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم প্রিয় দর্শক শ্রোতা সবাইকে আন্তরিক শুভেচ্ছা অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি বাংলাদেশ হোমিওপ্যাথিক পরিষদের সাপ্তাহিক নিয়মিত আয়োজন অনলাইন ভিত্তিক উচ্চতর প্রশিক্ষণ ক্লাসে দর্শক আপনারা জানেন আমরা প্রতি রবিবার এবং বুধবার আমাদের এই অনলাইন ক্লাসটি পরিচালনা করে আসছি আমাদের আলোচনাগুলোকে আমরা নিয়মিতভাবেই প্রথমে ইংরেজিতে এবং পরে বাংলায় আমরা একই বিষয়ের উপরে আলোচনা করে থাকি তারই ধারাবাহিকতায় আমরা ম্যাট্রিয়ামেডিকার অত্যন্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ একটি মেডিসিন ল্যাকিসিস এই মেডিসিনটাকে নিয়ে আমরা স্টাডি করছিলাম আমরা প্রথম পর্বের আলোচনায় গত বুধবার কিভাবে আমরা ম্যাট্রিয়ামেডিকা স্টাডি করব এবং ডিপ স্টাডি কিভাবে করব সেই বিষয়ের উপরে আলোচনা করেছেন ইংরেজি ভার্সনে প্রথম পর্বের আলোচনা করেছেন আমাদের সম্মানিত সভাপতি বাংলাদেশ হোমিওপ্যাথিক পরিষদের ডাক্তার শেখ फेसबुकारा देखते हैं দয়া করে প্রত্যেকের প্রতি একটি অনুরোধ আপনারা আপনাদের মাইক গুলোকে মিউট করে রাখবেন এবং ক্যামেরা গুলোকেও মিউট করে রাখবেন যেন আলোচনার মাঝখানে যিনি আলোচক আছেন আমাদের সম্মানিত সভাপতি ডাক্তার উনি যেন কোনো ডিস্টার্ব ফিল না করেন এবং আপনার কারণে যেন অন্যরা শুনতে কোনো অসুবিধা বোধ না করেন এই জন্য এই বিষয়টি সবসময় মনে করিয়ে দিই আজকেও মনে করিয়ে দিলাম একটু সিনসিয়ারলি আপনার মোবাইলটিকে হ্যান্ডেল করবেন তো ভূমিকায় খুব বেশি কথা আর না বলে আমরা সরাসরি আলোচনায় চলে যাব আলোচনায় আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি বাংলাদেশ হোমিওপ্যাথিক পরিষদের সম্মানিত সভাপতি ডাক্তার শেখ ফারুক স্যার নিশ্চয়ই শুনতে পাচ্ছেন আপনার আলোচনা শুরু করবেন just continuing the previous lecture so you know we started a series of special remedies these are called snake remedy series which consists of legacies and uh, so many others at, at least six to seven remedies and we'll discuss one by one and you know when the source of homeopathic remedies are very a very tough things uh, from tough to, then its action also becomes tough it has been proved time and again so this lekashi is the source of it from very poisonous snake poison so its action also we presume that will be very tough as well as very good to relieve the tough suffering of our patients <clears throat> so we will give much attention to learn these remedies these are very important remedies and very good polycrest remedies and you will find if you are busy uh, practitioners every day you will find maybe one or two patients of like a cheese out of 22-25 percent you see every day it is it is a common one so if you miss its total symptomatology sure you will miss some patients to diagnose like a cheese in them so let us try to learn and understand these remedies as much as possible so just i am giving little bit recapitulation of the lecture given last week we know that table of hand was added as the who lived eight years of his life and to homeopathy sometimes 
इनफॉरमेशन directly came from hanimen and his admin <clears throat> so it was just thing a guy his darman in origin he went to america and there he became the father of american homeopathy so how how beautiful and how his organization capacity was there so this is constant and herring in his ripe age this is constant and herring in his university age and this is constant and herring he is lying in his library in his ripe age near 80 in america then we discussed yesterday the last week how to study matter in medica in a fruitful way so that we can learn more by by following a particular strategy which was followed by other stalwarts of humanity so we divide it into three we said prior the process of medica the the second text of the medica i am not going to elaborate because last week i discussed already these are the tertiary texts of materia medica then we discussed what we learn from studying materia medica what about the medicine what information of a medicine should we learn from materia medica these are the information then we said how to study materia medica from beginning up to your ripe age so we divided this learning method into three phases phase one just beginning you are a student of uh, dhms bhms or or any course of homeopathy and you are studying and learning material media from scratch so there is a guideline then after you studied material media to some extent that you you now learn the medicine now you want to learn all about the medicine you are in phase 2 which is phase 2 what is phase 2 <clears throat> then after you finish phase 2 now you want to keep this knowledge in your mind always so that you can reproduce the essence of your knowledge in treating patient this is phase 3 which said then we came to lecesis trigonocephalus its synonyms i told you and i am not going to discuss because last day we discussed it then we said there are several snake remedies and we we enumerated the names i gave only six there are others also the most important is lecesis trigonocephalus which we will discuss today the second in import importance is crotellus horridus also this is a very poisonous snake and very good medicine particular in hemorrhagic disorder jaundice disorder and then a very very good medicine naja tripodia a very good medicine of heart diseases even congenital heart disease acquired heart disease valvular heart disease and so many problems of relating heart is a very good medicine then you find elaps botrops vipera these are mostly they are used in hemorrhagic disorders hemorrhagic disorder there may be there may be thrombotic disorders there may be uh, just he hemorrhagic disorders like hemophilia or there is some blood disorders and as well as other disorders also so you will find at least the first three lecesis crotellus and naja you cannot afford practicing homeopathy without learning 
details of this stimulus. But other three also we'll discuss because in many cases we need them very badly. And also we'll discuss another medicine, though it is not from snake origin, this is from milk origin. This is lecaninum. It is not snake management, but its many symptoms are like snake remedy legacies. That's why this one also, though not from snake origin, we'll discuss in this series. So these are the snakes, I told you. This is a very ferocious snake, Lachesis trigonocephalus. Also this Crotella solida, very, very ferocious snake. Also this Naja tipudians, this is available in our country. We, we know that a snake charmer, they play this snake, but this is very dangerous when it has a uh, poisonous teeth. Then this is Elaps corallinus, very poisonous snake. You see this color. It is not available in our country. It is mostly in South America. This is Bothrops lensioletus, also very poisonous snake. We'll discuss. It is uh, mostly used in hemorrhagic and thrombotic disorders. Vipera, Vipera torba or Vipera verus. The left one, Vipera torba, right one, Vipera verus. Also, snake, poisonous snake, and, and it is very important in hemorrhagic disorders also. Now, today we'll start our description of Lachesis trigonocephalus. Its name is Local name is Bushmaster. Bush means jungle, forest. And master means like wish. <laughs> the, the, the king of forest is lion. But also this uh, Lachesis trigonocephalus is Bushmaster, like like king of uh, uh, forest, you can say. At least in South America, they used to say Bushmaster. I mean, this is the king of the forest. And also they put another name for it. This is Surukuku. Why Surukuku? Because they said this snake, while it is just lying in the forest, they make some sound. And sound seems like Surukuku, Surukuku, Surukuku. So this sort of noise it makes. That's why they give the name also Surukuku to this snake. Now you see this snake is so big one. Of course, it is not like python, not like ozogo or python, but ozogo is not, this python is not poisonous, but it is very, very poisonous. It is 12 feet long, so it is not small, 12 feet long. And it is as thick as the thigh of a man. You can see how big the thigh of our, any person will be. So it is so big and 12 feet long. But this is not the important thing. The important thing is that it has two fangs. Fangs means this dark, poisonous snake, fang. It is one to two inches long. And two on both sides of the, uh, uh, of the front teeth. And they are folded inside. When he will bite, they will come out and they push like hypodermic needle, like syringe, syringe needle, hypodermic needle, and they inject the poison to the persons and this is so dangerous it does not give much time for the person he will die very soon unless enough medical measure is not taken and another thing is that they say even a poisonous snake they are actually afraid of men if you find a poisonous snake like cobra if he finds a man is coming then he will just flee he will not attack the person unless he is attacked by that person. But this Lachesis trichonocephalus is something else. He will attack without provocation. He did not do anything. Just maybe you are passing on the side and you do not see the snake and he will attack you. So it is very, very dangerous, very ferocious snake available in the jungle. And the Poison is held in the little sack behind the fangs. You know, poison of a snake is like saliva of us. We just spit saliva. This is nothing. But saliva of 
Snake is very dangerous. This is just saliva on the salivary gland, and he push throw this fang like hypodermic needle into your body. And they say this snake very often they they will take out their tongue like the darting tongue. They will dart out. But why they are pushing this tongue? They said this. Speaking because snake will not speak anything, but this by this by the tongue, he will follow VT by its order. This is a person now he cannot see much, you know. This uh, their vision is very poor of the, of the snake, so how he will chase a victim? So he'll chase by putting out his tongue, and the tongue will get the order, the smell of this person, and he will follow till he catch him and, and, and push his fangs into the person. Now, okay, what is there in the venom? As I said, this is only saliva. This venom contains very potent enzymes. Some are called proteolytic enzymes. Proteolytic means it will dissolve your muscles, dissolve your tissues. Cytolytic, it will kill the cell. It will make cell death. Neurotoxic, this snake Poison will go to blood and this will affect your brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Your vagus nerve and will affect your heart and will die of heart failure. This body. Sometimes they will decoagulate. This will blood very dilute so that this will flow from the wound. And he will die of him. So this snake saliva is not simple saliva. This contains a composition of many potent enzymes, which actually do the harm to the patient. And you find after the bite of this lachesis, there is extreme swelling of the part. The part will be very swollen, and this will turn into black discoloration, and there will be blisters. There will be blisters, fushka, fushka There will be blisters around the around the bite, and there will be terrible pain. And the person first he'll be excited, and then he will go on semi-conscious and unconscious, and he will die of heart failure mostly. So you see, death may occur from heart failure through paralysis of vasomotor center. You will vasomotor center will be depressed. This vagus. Vegas nerve, this cranial nerve. And cranial nerve, you know, it supplies the heart and lungs. So there will be heart failure and respiratory failure, and the person will die. And also there will be secondary bleeding from the wound. There will be much bleeding from the wound. And also there will be septic infection of the necrotic area of the bite. I told you the, enz the poison contains proteolytic enzyme. This proteolytic enzyme will dissolve your muscle, and the muscle will be necrosed and necrosis will be infected and there will be sepsis so there will be septicemia in your body within a day so these are the way of death of person beaten by lachesis so dangerous now very important for uh, homeopathic practitioners how it is prepared you see we know this uh, Poison, this is from animal source, animal source product of homeopathic remedies. But this poison is not mixed with alcohol. We know many liquid source of homeopathic medicine, these are mixed with alcohol and they are potentized. But like I see, poison, if it is mixed with alcohol, this will be destroyed. So this is Either it is dissolved in glycine, in a glycine liquid, or it is directly triturated on the sugar of milk. And after doing higher potency like 30, then you can make higher potency along with, with alcohol. So alcohol should not be used in the lower potencies. Then this will this will damage the 
poison of the of the of the snake. So this must be visible in glycine or it should be treated directly on sugar of milk. And after high potency, you can go for alcoholic solution. So this is very important. So I know we, we are using lecases in 50 millisimal potency. And we find many of our uh, homeopathic pharmaceuticals, they also prepare lecases 50 millisimal potency. So they would know how they prepare lecases because we know that 50 ml potency must be, must be saturated for the first three centesimal. And then they will make one mother tincture. Then from that, they will do the potencies. You cannot do, you cannot make the preparation in other way. If it is not, then the preparation of the medicine is not good one. It is not a good medicine. So we should understand this thing for the preparation of lecases by our pharmaceuticals. Now, let us come to the proving. How it was proved by Dr. Herring and others. It is said that had Dr. Herring had not done or had not contributed anything to homeopathic system of medicine, but or except giving this lecases only, then the whole homeopathic world would have remembered him with gratitude and gratitude. It means if he did not give except lecases anything, still his contribution would be much bought by the homeopathic profession. It is so important contribution to homeopathic system of medicine. So I we see Dr. Herring probe lecases on himself first, then on his students. Mostly they are staff, gross, beauty, this is not beauty, then that wheeler and so many others. And they elicited by nine years of proving 3,800 symptoms. This legacy is proving it was prepared in 1828 and Herring published his first Materia Medica in 1837, you see, nine years. He went on proving and verifying its symptoms. And then only he published its Materia Medica of 3,800 symptoms. And if you open the Herring guiding symptoms, because he will say, if a good homeopath says that I learn like this, but study these symptoms, I can tell him. I will not evaluate him much. Because you learn like this, we would learning from guiding symptoms. If you guiding symptoms, you know, there are 10 volumes. This is in the volume six and from page 559 to 650 in 91 pages of symptoms. 91 pages of symptoms, 3,800 symptoms, only from hearing. And there are other symptoms contributed and added afterwards. Now, we have another source of homeopathic material. Medical. This is Dr. T.F. Allen's Encyclopedia. When we study a medicine, very, uh, what I say, attentively, we study animals, medical, medical, pura, chronic disease, we study heading guiding symptoms, we study TFN and encyclopedia, maybe not all, but selected symptoms. When you very serious to know, you know, studying this book, at least our gurus, they were instructing us like this. They also studied like this, and Alhamdulillah, we studied also like that. That's why I say, who studied medicine like this, he knows Metermedia very well, better than others, you know. So I, I'll invite you, if you study like this, you just go to any guiding symptoms, at least. In heading, there are 
grades of symptom grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 the first two line like this and second one big line third grade two thin line fourth grade one thin line so our guru said if you have less time or if you're not a little bit less serious at least you study all the symptoms first grade and second grade from any guiding symptom for all medicine if, if, if it is possible then you learn within medica very well okay dr tf allen timothy field allen i i said also before there are three great allens in homeopathy it is said that there are three great allens Allen's in homeopathy. One is Dr. T. F. Allen, Timothy Field Allen. He is famous for his encyclopedia. You see, nowadays, even a small book of allopathic medicine, you will find at least four or five authors together they write it. Never alone. Four or five authors together. And T. F. Allen, a homeopath, he wrote 12 volumes of Encyclopedia. Hello. You see, their life, they devoted like anything to the cause of homeopathy. This heading guiding symptom, 10 volumes. Heading only published four volumes. And he said, I am afraid that I'll die before publishing all my volumes. But I am not also afraid. Why? Because I kept able people with me, my, my followers, my disciples. Who will complete my guiding symptoms if I die? And he died in 1880, publishing only four volumes. But he kept all his materials ready. So his disciples, they came forward and they published the other, other six volumes. So it is like this. So Dr. Allen, T.F. Allen, he published all the 12 volumes alone during his lifetime. And you see, what he did, he, will not, he would not publish any symptom unless he checked it well. Just somebody get some symptoms of proving and he will publish. No, never. It is like Hadith. I, I don't want to give an uh, example like this, but I say, like our Hadith, you know, when it is accepted by scholars, they check it like anything that this is Sahi or, or less Sahi or not Sahi, something like that. Similarly, homeopathic veterinary medica in the beginning because they thought this is religious work. Religious work. It is related with the health and sickness of, of a person, of a human being. So they give extreme importance in making this work. So TFLN single-handedly used to check all the symptoms. That's why right. even TFLN took only 1,570 symptoms from heading. Heading gave 3,800, but TFLN accepted 1,570 symptoms. So if you want to learn uh, legacy symptoms, you should see also the TFLN encyclopedia, because this, these are more verified, these symptoms. And you find in TFLNs, there are 12 volumes. This is the volume number five, from page number 432 to 471. Now the interesting thing is that interesting thing is that you see like this was published in July 28 in 1828 while Herring was 28 years young man at that time Honeyman was alive in 1828 Honeyman was in Kutel then he published it in 1837 while Honeyman was also in Kotev. And he was in direct contact with Honeyman. They were writing letters to each other. So sure, we can ascertain that Honeyman knows he knew the legacy is proving. And of course, he knew the many symptoms also. But surprisingly, you will not find legacy in Honeyman's Metabolic pura or chronic disease. It may it may be that it may be that you see, we cannot take our material medica very loosely. 
these are as i said these are like hadith these are checked time and again by many scholars many researchers and then only who is are very highly approved this symptom they put in the metabolica so hanimen knew about like she is but still that time you see even herring took 9 years to publish his reports 9 years he could publish after one or two years no he took 9 years by verifying and verifying and hanimen still maybe maybe he knew many symptoms of lekesis but he did not get a total verified collection of symptoms that's why he did not put because he did not have direct experience of lekesis that's why he did not include it in patent medical we don't find it in medical we know also in chronic disease though this is very good work and even even praised it that our friend and my disciple herring is doing a herculean task in america he was always praising herring anyway so in germany after hanimen's death dr staff appointed dr dr herring appointed dr staff a very close disciple of hanimen in germany he appointed staff and gave many samples of like this is free to him so that he can distribute to the german homeopaths to apply it in patients and give their experience so that's why maybe during the lifetime lifetime of hanimen the experience was not so high that hanimen should adopt it in his uh metabolic pure but it was very soon appraised by german homeopaths that this is a very good medicine and all over the world all were praising that this is a very good addition to our materia medica now let us talk something about the story of herring's legacy to me there is a story it is like a novel if if uh, i were a novelist i could have written a small novel on legacy to me it is such like this so we know that dr herring he passed his md from german university then he was employed by the german royal government as a curator of royal museum he was a curator of royal museum of botanical and zoological species then the government german government employed him to go to south america for it out so that he can collect more botanical samples and zoological samples and send from south america to germany to enrich their museum royal museum big royal museum then herring with another uh, employee both of them they went to suriname by ship by trans atlantic travel and in suriname he rented a double storied house he was staying in the first story and in the ground floor he had a office and he has many native servants black servants so when he was going to forest he and his friend both of them used to go to forest to search for new samples of uh, plants and new samples of uh, animals and if they if they find an animal new animal they will catch it they will catch kill it and they will remove the intestine and they will put they will put uh, some some what i say this is called hue hue cord cord inside the inside the animal and they will dry it and they will send it to the germany to keep in the museum so it was their job to color sample of plants and animals then his servants always used to say sir there is a big snake you never saw it and uh, it is it is very famous or maybe notorious in our region it is very poisonous and it kills the pe uh, uh, pe people without provocation so if you can take a sample of this snake maybe your 
German Museum will be much enriched. So after hearing so many days from his servant, then he was interested. Then he declared a, a prize, a prize money that if anybody or any group can bring a, a live snake, live Bushmaster to me, I'll give this money as a reward. So these black people are very much interested by many groups. They were searching in the jungle to catch one surukoko. And ultimately, one day, a big group, they caught one surukoko, surukoko in a trap. And they put it in a bamboo box. And they carried it to the house of Harry. They said, sir, we, we have caught it. And they just put it on the veranda or on the, on the premise of Herring's house and all of them fled. They were so afraid because they know Herring will try to open it or do something and maybe it will kill Herring and also them. So they put it here and they fled. And even other servants of his house also fled. They were so afraid. But you see, Herring was so bold. He was not only a doctor, he was a bold man. He and his wife only in the house. So he took one bamboo stick and one fork, bamboo fork, to catch the snake's neck. So he little bit opened the bamboo door and made a blow to the head of the snake. And the snake was literally stunted. Then he put his fork on the neck of the snake. And directly in another jar, he put sugar of milk and put the snake's head, mouth, on, on the dish, petri dish, and he milked, extracted this snake poison directly on the sugar of milk. This is the first sample of lachesis ever in the world. And it is done by hearing directly from the snake itself. Then he put the snake again in the bamboo box, and then he started triturating this poison in the, in the, with the sugar of milk. And after making only second trituration, he, he was caught with a very much fever and he started delirium, restless. And his wife was very much afraid. He thought that she thought that he would die. Then it was going on till late night. He was delirium, saying anything, doing many things. And then he slept. She slept stertorously. While in the morning, he woke up. He was a little better. And his wife coming to him, he asked his wife. He did not say about his health. He said, during this sleep and during this delirium, what I did and what I said. Because he knows these are the proving of legacies. And his wife remembered them vividly and the symptoms were written by his wife. And this is the first installment of proof of legacies. And next day, the natives, these servants, black servants, they came one by one, <laughs> peeping to the house to see that maybe Herring is dead. But they were astonished that Herring and his wife still alive. Then I say, Herring, he called his associates and they did more trituration and then potentization and he made 30 potency up to 200 potency and he proved it on his servants and other uh, people and his associates and started collecting the symptoms so this is the story of lachesis proving now you say this lachesis spread all over the America, Europe, the sample of medicine from his collection. The, from one collection, single collection of lachesis poison, all the medicine were being prepared. Then the homeopathic pharmaceuticals of America, they decided, no, we are preparing the medicine from only one source. Maybe this will be finished or maybe this will be destroyed. So we must have another lachesis snake again. So they hired from Brazil 
by high price. Another Lekeshi snake caught and shipped from Brazil to USA, to Philadelphia. And when it was brought to the city, and by that time, homeopathy was known to America. Then many newsmen, journalists, they came around and they put in the news and homeopathy journal banner. You see, they wrote Lekasis in Dhaka, something like this. Lekasis to Arabs in America was the headline in the newspaper and homeopathy journals. And they were taking photos of the snake from different angles. And they were publishing many stories. How the snake, it, what is its habits, how, uh, what, what is its poisonous effects, this and that, like a film star. There were many stories in the newspaper. It was so, it, it was so famous in American society. So from the second sample of snake, all other medicine then started prepared by body control and other companies. And they are all the samples, euro and all other. You can this is the of like proving you want to know all these stories together. You can read this, but though I am not giving an advertisement this book just it's a good source if you study this book chikisha sansarok or bishokhato homipadar ji mantarmo you see there are about 30 to 40 people here all famous they are stalwart homipadar you find details of their life details you don't find in any book in the world more detail than this book this is a challenge you don't find any book published in the world so far, having more information of each person than in a book. So this, <laughs> this is a very good book for the homeopathic society and I am now doing its English translation and hopefully we'll go to publish it from BJ publishers. So you can just have a chance to see it and you can uh, read the story of at least hearing, you find so many things. Now let us come to the Lekesis constitution. Let us come to the Veterinary Medica. Now story finished. So what is the constitution of Lekesis patients? You see, not all homeopathy medicine has good constitutions and we don't give much value to all medicine having a constitution. Only few medicines or some medicine have characteristic constitution. Like say for example, if you study calcarea carb, you must know its constitution. If you study sepia, you must see its constitution. You study say for example, uh, cal cal even calcarea force, silicia, you must know its constitution. Because, because it is, constitution, what does it mean? It means it is such type of people who during proving, gave much symptoms to its proving. And who in clinical settings were acted more than other patients by that particular medicine. So that's why we try to learn constitution of a particular medicine if it is there. Now, so for example, say, 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 stabigia does not have any constitution. You can give even thin patient, fat patient, no problem. But calcarea carb, even sulfur, say, 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 silicia, phosphorus, they have some particular constitution. Like this, Lekesis also has a constitution. So let us, please. Uh, I'm, I'm giving a lecture. Eh? I'll talk afterwards. I'm going to pour it. Pour it. So, constitution of legacy special. You see, it is called, it suits choleric patient. What is choleric? I think many of us, if you read this term, but maybe we don't understand well. Choleric, 
What is choleric constitution? Choleric means irritable, bad temper. They are very irritable patient, bad temper, like Knox Vomica, choleric. So Lepis is also choleric patient. And they are mostly women with freckles. They have choleisma, they have brown discoloration. And they are debilitated and weakened person, usually. They are thin rather than fat. Lepis patients are rather than fat, they are thin patient. And neck is a little bit weak neck. And this person, they become weak mentally and physically by their illness. And usually they are drunkards. If you find a person drinking alcohol and he has liver problem or he has other problem, so you can take to check whether it, if there is more electricity constitution. And they are usually melancholic person and indolent. They are not very uh, active person, indolent person, lazy person. And they suffer from effects of masturbation. But now, if you find a patient who conform to symptoms of leakage without this constitution, also you can give no problem. But if you find the person of this constitution, Having like a cis symptom, it means it will suit best. This is the importance of constitution. Now, another another thing we study when we study a medicine, this is called site of action. Some medicine has particular site of action. Say, for example, say for example, NASA, NASA tripudians. It has particular site of action is heart. It disturbs heart very much. Crotella solidus. It disturbs blood very much. Blood and liver very much. So whatever like it is, it has also some particular site of action, Kriya Shakti, predilection, electricity site of action. That in this side, it acts more. One is called cerebral, in the brain, in the brain itself. Because this snake poison, it excites the brain, and followed by depression. First brain is very much excited, there is delirium and other, and then he becomes depressed. Then medulla oblongata, you know medullary, medullary, there is cerebrum, there is medulla oblongata. Why it is important? Because from this med medullary region, it controls our respiration and heart. So because lachesis depresses the medulla, that's why people die of heart failure, and lung failure from the bite of lachesis. That's why we can use lachesis in more patients of respiratory troubles and heart troubles as well. And sensory, it also affects sensory nerves too much. That's why lachesis patient has very much highly sensitive to touch everywhere in the body. They cannot tolerate touch. So these are the preferential site of action. Then also it works on blood. First, there is hypercoagulability means blood will be clotted. But after some time, the opposite will occur. Blood will be thinner and thinner. And there will be more bleeding from the body. That's why there will be purpura and there will be bleeding from many orifices. So these two sites of actions are important for lachesis. Now let us come to general symptoms. I tell you one thing, while you study materia medica of a medicine, I told you before that what information you want to learn about a medicine from materia medica. So you see, we learn if there is a source of medicine, what is the source of medicine? If there is any good story, because if you learn the story, this will make you more interest, more interested to learn this medicine. Then we see its constitution. Then we see what are the sites of action. Then we learn general symptom. General symptom means which symptoms belong to whole body of the patient. This is very important. Then we learn mental symptoms. Then we learn particular symptoms in this way. And we try to learn general symptoms and mental symptoms as much as possible. Why? 
because in the selection of a chronic patient, more than 75%, 75% are done by conformity to general symptoms and mental symptoms. Only 25% from particular symptoms. So these are so important. If you miss general symptom and mental symptom in a patient and try to select a medicine avoiding this symptom, your medicine may not be correct. So general symptom. Now I tell you also, you don't find in many material medica books all the general symptoms together. You don't find. You don't find. You find it is discrete, separated in many places. You will have to learn and bring them together to learn it well. That that thing I did it and I will show you. You don't find like this general symptom all together in many books. You don't find. This is your duty if you are a serious student of Materia Medica to collect and edit and group all the general symptoms together so that you can learn the medicine more. So let us see in general symptoms which one you learn first. Usually we try to see the thermal sensitivity of the medicine. Kator or shit kator or gorom kator. It is heat sensitive or cold sensitive. This is the first thing we want to learn. There are many medicines here high grade hot medicine, high grade cold medicine. Say iodium, it is a high grade hot medicine. Gorom kator. Then say nash momika, sorinam, high grade cold medicine. So you cannot give iodium to a patient who is very cold. No, then it will be wrong. Because Ken said, one strong general symptom can nullify 100 particular symptoms in, a, in your selection. You see, one strong general can cancel 100 particular symptoms. So general symptoms are very high grade, high ranking symptoms. That's why you try to learn the sensitivity, thermal sensitivity, katorota, very fast, very well. Like, like it is which kator, which sensitive, we must specify it. Some medicine, okay, no problem. Say, stephysegria, you can give to cold patient, you can give to one patient, no problem. But some medicine, they are very much particular. As I said, iodium. As I said, say, say, natamute. These are usually hot medicine sulfur hot medicine so usually we, we just try to conform to this thing very cold medicine acidity cold medicine say nice moving cold medicine sorry now cold medicine you should not give very hot patient sorry now no that is wrong let us see what like this is give us about thermal sensitivity this is called thermal sensitivity means in Bengal it is kator, kator, ota, shit kator, gorom kator. So thermal sensitivity in like this is, you see, it has aggravation from extremes of heat and cold. If there are extremes of heat, also it has aggravation. If extreme of cold, also it has aggravation. So in, in theoretically you can give like this to a hot patient, also you can give to cold patient. But it, heat aggravation is much more important. It is aggravated from heat, from sun, from summer, and in the spring. So though it is, you can give it to cold patient, but most patient will ask who are warm blooded. They are aggravated from heat, from hot weather, from hot room, and direct sun heat. They don't like direct sun heat. If he goes to direct sun heat, you will have so many problems. You will have headache, you will have vertigo, and maybe he will, he will go to syncope. And we see all the snakes, they are intolerant of warm weather. Snakes, they don't like warm weather and relaxing weather. That's why in spring season, we find most like like symptoms return in spring season and in summer season. But there is some exception also. You see, except in sore throat, Lachesis prefers one to all other regions, all other pains. In headache, in backache, in all other pain, Lachesis prefers warmth. But in throat, no. <laughs> in throat, if there is 
call cold ring he will accept it but he will never accept hot disco tonsil like diphtheria still he will not prefer hot days he will prefer cold days. this is exception but in all other place all the pains of lecases are better from warmth in my next lecture i i will bring repertorial repertorial references to this thing we will see what is repertory these symptoms are represented second one is desire for open air then later you see these are the things i collected i edited and i make a good note and everybody should do it like this for himself so the like is it desire for open air like like falsetilla like apis he never likes a closed room one would know like tuberculina he wants cool and fresh air even though even the air outside is cold but still he will say don't close the door or or or, or uh, window he will try to keep it open so it is a very important symptom of like she is that he want cool and fresh air even he will want to keep the window open if still the air outside is cold and he has air hunger he wants more air it is something like carbobes you know that carbobes there is air hunger he asks for more air by giving him much fennel like he says also symptoms like this like this is also wants <laughs> fennel but this is little from little distance and slowly not like carbobes carbobes one fan very hard but like she is one fan slowly and from distance but he wants here of it here so this is also a, a good symptom of like she is we can verify from uh, repertory next day now then another symptom comes laterality laterality means parsikota which side of the body this medicine has preference you do in our material medica there are many medicines they are they have marked preference for right side or left side marked preference but there are many medicines they have no preference you can give on the right side and complete left side and complete but some they have much preference and like this is one like this is left sided like like a podium and costicum is right sided you see so like this is left sided but there are also some exceptions we must know it. otherwise we will make mistake in selecting our medicine so like this like is preeminently left sided of course not only left sided his complaint will start from left side and go to the right side from left side to the right side and this is this is good for his head his throat his lungs and his ovary and his leg something like this from head to foot he prefers left side but in some places there are exception so this exception is a peculiar one like our symptom uh, our aphorism of organon 153 and 54 rare peculiar symptom like this is all on the right side but in some place on the left side which side, which uh, part this is in the this is in the hip joint on the hip joint and the sciatica it is left sided you will find in the repertory on the right side there is third grade lacessis but on the left side there is second grade it prefers left sided sciatica more ah sorry right sided sciatica more and also as we know the liver liver belongs to the right side and lacessis has a specific action on liver so in the liver also it is exception sciatica right side also liver right side and from right side it goes to the left side the opposite like this comes from left side to right side but in the liver is spread from right side goes to left side in the sciatica and in the hip joint it is on the right side so this is the exception in all other side that is left side now having all this thing we must also declare now if we find if we find a patient having most thing on the right side but 
all symptoms are leakages. Most important symptoms, all leakages, but the complete not the right side. Say, for example, he has he has uh, migraine on the right side, not on the left side. He has complaint in the neck on the right side. But other modalities and complaints are like leakage. What we'll do? So here we declare. You don't hesitate to give legacies if, you, if the complaint in the left, right side, but other symptoms approach legacies. So right side is not a is not a must. It only corroborates selection of legacies. If there are other important symptoms belong to legacies and the complaint on the right side, you can give legacies, no problem. Now we come to aggravation from sleep, very important symptom of legacies, you find most of the symptoms of legacies, they are aggravated either during sleep or going to sleep or after sleep. Say uh, you will find a patient of sleep apnea. I have a patient of sleep apnea. He just goes to sleep. The sleep is starting and he becomes apneic. His, his uh, respiration closes. So on going to sleep or during sleep, during sleep he has much problem or after sleep. When he wakes up in the morning, all symptoms come. All these are legacies. Particularly in the morning when he takes rest, he has more complaint. And it is said, if he has longer sleep, he will have more aggravation, you see. If he has longer sleep, he should have good rest. Amelioration of the problem, but no. Like this patient, if he has longer sleep, his aggression will be more. And you find many symptoms in, a, in many children and some, some patients, they have panic. They wake up from sleep with a panic. They will be like frantic. They will, the baby will catch his mother or this and that, and he becomes afraid and nervous after waking from sleep. This is called Panic attack. Panic attack, aggravated, working from sleep. This is very important symptom of legacies. But again, after saying all these things, we want to declare that if we find the opposite, that a patient has good amelioration from sleep, then don't hesitate to give legacies if other symptoms corroborate it. So this is very important. If don't Cancel like his selection only because that no 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 he gets better from sleep. So the selection will be decided by more thing, not by one single symptom. That's why if you find amelioration from sleep and other symptom corroborates like his, you give like his. Next we come amelioration from onset of discharge and aggravation from. Suppression of discharge, very important symptom of legacy. All discharge from the body. When they start, this will relieve some complaints. This is very important symptom of legacy. And if we find the discharge is delayed, this complaint will be more and more. You find that when the discharge is suppressed, you will have more complaint. When the discharge is released, you will have emulation of the complaint. This is a general modality of legacies. Now I tell you for the difference between general modality and particular modality. Sometimes the general modality of a medicine is same like particular modality. But sometimes the general modality of a medicine is opposite to particular modality. Say for example, we know phosphorus. Phosphorus is the cold medicine. He's very chilly. All his complaints aggravated from cold. But in some particular modality, like in stomach, in head, he wants cold. He feels better by cold, by cold drinks, by cold weather. But in uh, as a whole, he's also cold medicine. So his general modality and particular modality we see is opposite. So for like opodium, you find mostly it is, it is 
a hot medicine, though there is some cold symptom also, but mostly it is hot medicine. But in stomach, he wants warm food, warm drink. That's why while we study the modality, we'll have to see if there is any opposition from general modality and particular modality. Okay. We see this and also another thing. When we say general modality, a, a patient has amelioration of headache, say for example, by pressure. Then if we find amelioration of backache by pressure. Then if we find amelioration of pain in the abdomen by pressure. It is said when a particular modality is true for three or more places, it becomes general. If a particular modality of a particular organ in three places, it is same, then it becomes general. It is promoted to a general modality. So this is also one thing I tell you. For lacrosis, you see, from appearance of an expected discharge, like if he has rhinitis, if he has coriza, he will have his uh, migraine or headache will be relieved. Coriza is stopped, headache will be more. You will find that he will have much pain, dysmenorrhea, much pain in the abdomen, much pain in the breast. Before men's, as soon as men starts, all relieved. You find the patient has much headache, but as soon as there is epistaxis, headaches, headaches is relieved. So this thing is true for lacrosis aggravation during men's, before men's, menopause and pregnancy. We find lacrosis aggravation is more marked during menopause. Why? Because during menopause, there is menstrual discharge is stopped. That's why it falls, it belongs to lacrosis modalities. Because during menopause, his mens is stopped. That's why all aggravation occurred during menopause and lacrosis. Also during pregnancy, we find lacrosis symptoms become worse during pregnancy. Why? Because during pregnancy, our menstrual discharge is stopped. And also before men says, before men's like it's simply aggravates. When men, men starts, it, it is relieved. So it is all over. If you find a discharge relieves a particular symptom, and again a suppression of discharge aggravates a particular symptom, you can think of like <coughs> and, and you see, there are more examples. This is relief from discharge, relief from flow. As soon as nasal catara begins, I told you before, headache is relieved. And when the nasal catara coriza stop, headache will start again. And if there is, say for example, nose bleeding, I told you before, there is nose bleeding, it relieves asthma attacks. A person has much dyspnea, asthmatic attack. But when, as soon as he starts nasal bleeding, asthma becomes well. And if this guy has constipation, has headache, but when the stool, he passes the stool, constipation is relieved, or he has diarrhea, his headache is, is relieved. So it is everywhere in lacrosis. <coughs> you see, these are the physical symptoms. Even this is true for mental symptoms. Why? Because lacrosis patient, if he cannot talk, <laughs> talking also is like, a discharge, this discharge of mental emotion. If he cannot talk, or if you suppress his talking, he will be aggravated like anything. He will feel sick. And as soon as he can start talking, all his emotional emotional problem, his depression will, will, will be relieved. So it is both mentally and physically true that discharge relieves legacy system and subtraction like is very, very important. Now, another symptom. This is oversensitiveness to external influence. Very important symptom. Oversensitiveness to external influence. What does it mean? External influence means 
means touch, light, no, uh, say for example, noise, these are the external pressure. If you touch the patient, if there is much light, if there is much noise, he will be aggravated. He will not, he will be very much sensitive to it. Let us see a little bit. That's why you find that lachesis cannot, cannot tolerate any touch, any constriction in the body. Around the, around the throat, a male person, if you ask him if you can put some muffler around your neck, he says, no, no, I, I don't do it. If you say, do you tie, put the tie here, he said, no, I put tie, but I make it loose. If you ask a woman, when you put ornament around your neck, which ornament you like? One staying in the throat or one is hanging in the throat? Is there one which is hanging in the throat? I don't like one which is sticking to my throat. So, and also in the abdomen. If you ask the legacy person, they will say also, I put loose garments. I never put tight garments, I don't like. So everywhere in the body, like this is present, they do not like constriction, touch. They want everything loose. Even just on the abdomen, they even do not tolerate the weight of the even sleeves, weight of the bed cover. They will have to put it up because they cannot tolerate the touch of the bed cover even. If a patient has ovaries, if a patient has, say for example, a abdominal colic, and if you find the patient never allow any bed cover on his abdomen, this is a like symptom. So tightness and even touch, it is not tolerable. And why it is not that? So there is one point Dr. Gutman says, that snake's neck is the very vulnerable part of the snake, neck of the snake. If you can catch the snake on its neck, it leaves the even most poisonous snake helpless. So his neck is very vulnerable. That's why he does not tolerate any problem around the neck. So this is the symptom also we find. The lachesis patient, we ask if you can tolerate any tightness around your neck, so say no, I don't like. I always put it loose. So this is a very important symptom also like I said. So not only here, even on the on the on the waist, he does not like any tightness. One symptom is here, you see. I tell you. Uh, Dr. George Vitolkas, he added one symptom here in the lexis, but this is clinical symptom. He said, yes. Lachesis like does not like pressure or touch. Light pressure or touch does not like. But he tolerates well or he is emulated by hard pressure. It is the addition by George Nicolkas. He said hard pressure is agreeable. It often gives relief like our, say, say China. China is aggravated by small touch. His teeth. This China, he cannot tolerate touching one teeth by another teeth. But if he clenches the teeth, he feels well. Also in the abdomen, China does not like soft touch, but they can tolerate pressure. So Bitulka said that Lekashis cannot tolerate light pressure or touch, but he can tolerate, not only tolerate, he will feel better by deep pressure. So he said that by tight belt, Lekesis patient will feel better. But also you find in other patients of Lekesis that they will say, no, we don't like even tight belt. So from little class, we can take both way. If your patient say, I cannot tolerate tight belt, okay, it is Lekesis. But if he says, I feel better by tight belt, also it is Lekesis, at least according to little class. Now, there is one very good uh, symptom put forward by Dr. Catherine Coulter. And nowadays, I don't know, our colleagues, most of our colleagues, I find they read 
very old mathematics that's okay it's good very old mathematics gives good points but if you have time if you have chance you try to study some newer more modern and latest versions of mathematics are written by newer homeopathic scholars one is dr katherine kunta she has very good series of mathematics of three books she said very good thing you see she said like vitolkas she said like she is if you press like she is mental he will give more work he will be more active how is this is like his symptom like vitolkas if you press like his person he become more active and give more works she said like his patient those who are writers you know there are many writers they write for uh, particular journals for newspaper for books this and that they have so many so many urgency like this but some are little bit lazy they don't write unless on the last time they are pushed by the publisher they say oh uh, sir please there are only five days you finish the writing and send, send us then they said this like is present then that five days he will work like anything then night he will write and write. then he will finish all his uh, all his uh, writings in, in many papers and send in, in time so this is like a system problem like it is they are lazy they will not by soft pressure they will not do anything but if you give them more pressure they will be more productive this is dr katherine coulter symptom and this is very nice and you find many writers like this when they are under pressure there oh there are puja you know puja issue or eid issue so they will have to write many writings in many papers so in the last time they become very active so this is also like a symptom under much pressure they become more active and they write many things also like a says as i said external impression that they cannot tolerate noise they cannot tolerate noise if there are so much noise they don't like it and even dr kent says you see dr kent say noise is intolerable to like a says patient he cannot tolerate noise day and night he will be he cannot sleep he will be wide awake and he can he will be disturbed by little sounds outside even if the clock can says the clock is clock is running and giving sound like tick 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 even, even this sound disturbs like his special doctor can say you see noise is intolerable even at a distance day and night she is wide awake and disturbed by noise that she can hear the flies work you see up on the wall one flies working on the wall also she will be disturbed by this one and the clock striking upon distant charge a long distant charge there is a clock going on and making a sound or even this one will disturb it so this is by dr kerry it means like she says in tolerance to all external impression in the form of scratch in the form of noise in the form of light like this now a very important symptom i think i have tried to finish today the general symptom this is a hemorrhagic tendency very important symptom and all the snake remedies we are very much fond of knowing hemorrhagic tendency like crotella sorida and and this botrop and the vipera all are hemorrhagic and you see in our also many acid remedies acids they are very hemorrhagic remedies so uh, let us see what lecithin is doing like all snakes lecithin decomposes the blood so lecithin makes the blood in our body liquid more liquid so there is more hemorrhage there is more tendency of uh, say for example epistaxis more uh, uh, menses and other bleeding and there is persistent bleeding you find hemophilia patient hemophilia i have i have a patient of hemophilia you know for hemophilia they lack a particular clotting factor produced by liver their their body cannot produce this factor that's why they always bleed if there is small injury 
too much bleeding. So in such thing, you can use our homeopathic medicine, which has more bleeding tendencies. And let us use one. Even it is used in hemophilia. Hemorrhage and extravasation of blood in various areas, maybe bleeding outside, maybe bleeding inside inside the body, maybe bleeding just beneath the skin. There may be hematemesis, vomiting of blood, there may be there may be toughing of blood, there may be bleeding from the anus, bleeding from the urethra, bleeding from the vagina. All hemorrhage comes under the action of legacies if other symptoms corroborate. So this is also important symptom. We know this hemorrhagic tendency of legacies. Now there is another symptom. This is called blue color or purple color appearance of the lesion. If you have if you have some lesion, lesion means some injury, or maybe a boil, maybe an abscess, maybe a cut, you find this place becomes purple color, beguni color, purple color, blue color. This is a very important symptom of sign, objective symptom, sign of legacy. There will be dark eruption, purple swelling, and blue spots in the body. So any injury, any lesions, any skin eruptions, having purple color, blue color, it goes to legacy. Now, another important symptom, pulsating and hammering sensation. Very important symptom. If you find this pulsation, why? This hammering means hammering, 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 hammering. Pulsating, pulsating. If there are more blood uh, circulation to a part, a blood circulation to a near, near your ear, a blood circulation through your hemorrhoids, Blood circulation through your anal region of, of through any lesion. So there will be a hemorrhage sensation, hemorrhage, hemorrhage. Throbbing sensation, you can say pulsating, you can say, which is called hemorrhage sensation. This is very important to select leakages in difficult cases. If you find a patient of hemorrhoids, and patient says, Oh, doctor, I find in my hemorrhoids there is hemorrhage sensation. <laughs> it is like beating. Something is beating here, hammering sensation with other lesion, with other corroborating symptom, it is a specific for legacies. If a patient says he has fistula in NO or he has fissure in NO, anal fissure, and he said that I have a sensation that there is hammering, Haturi Pita, beating by a hammer, it is this sensation. Even a patient has headache. Patient has earache, and patient says that I have as if something is hammering, something is hammering in my eye. This hammering sensation is equal to lachesis. So this is very important. So we can keep in our mind. It is that the hammering is a strong feature of lachesis. Now I'll finish a little bit. Ball sensation or lamp sensation. Lachesis has some it is called delusion delusional feeling patient will say oh doctor i find something is here in my, in my throat some putly some lump sensation and when i when, <laughs> when i make empty swallowing it is aggravated it goes away and then it comes again but if i take uh, drink, if I drink water or if I take food, oh, oh, I don't find it. But whenever I make empty swallowing or even without swallowing, I find that there are two balls, two putli, two bags, two lumps in my throat. This is very important symptom of lachesis and ignatia. Ignatia less, lachesis more, if the patient says that I have two putli here. When I make empty swallowing, it goes away, then it comes back or it does not emel. But if I, if I take water, or food, it goes away. So this is one thing. Then patient may say, in my anus there is plaque sensation. Patient may have hemorrhoids, patient may have uh, fissure, patient may have polyp in, in the anus. So patient will say, 
the in my as if some plug is there there are other medicine also there are other medicines say for example uh, ba -ba -ba, uh anacardium then there is esculus hippocastanum they have also but also like he says plug sensation in his anus plug or a patient may say i have a ball coming from my abdomen to throat something is coming from my abdomen to throat a ball is coming or here there are ball all this sensation belongs to the cases very important sometimes you can select the medicine or get the clue to selection by such symptom these are peculiar symptom mental symptom these are mental symptom so another symptom is trembling and paralysis very important symptom of legacies like it is all over the body there is tremor trembling so if like this person like this is so weak if he wants to put out the tongue you find the tongue is trembling so this is a very good symptom of like this that's why if you find a patient of parkinson's patient or patient paralytic patient or very weak patient he has shivering in the body trembling like this or when he puts out the tongue tongue is trembling and catching in the teeth so this is a good symptom of lachesis and about paralysis you know this this weakness or this prostration it, if it becomes more and more it become paresis they call paresis and paresis becomes more, worse and worse it become paralysis paralysis become worse and worse it become emaciation of the part so it is like this trembling paresis paralysis emaciation so lachesis can follow up to paralysis emaciation or no emaciation something else there will be uh, costicum there will be from a metonym like this up to trembling paresis paralysis lachesis and this is on the left side if you find a patient having hemiplegia he has a stroke he has a stroke now develop hemiplegia half side paralysis and this is left side this goes to lachesis and you know there are four terms and um, maybe we know all quadriplegia paraplegia hemiplegia monoplegia let me <laughs> tell this thing also on this matter if your person has half side paralysis half side of the whole body this is called hemiplegia if your person has only two lower limbs paralyzed two hand no only two lower limbs this is called paraplegia if your patient has all the four limbs paralyzed by a lesion in the sephora in, in, in the neck, all four legs, four limbs are paralyzed. This is called quadriplegia. If only one limb paralyzed, this is called monoplegia. Lachesis has all paraplegia, monoplegia, quadriplegia, hemiplegia, all lachesis. Then lachesis also has fainting. Lachesis becomes faint all on a sudden. If you find the patient will say, many times I am weak, weak, and then I go on fainting. Also, this goes to legacies. Finish, I just two minutes more. So this trembling in the body, tremor of the body, I told you all this. Then hemiplegia, I told you hemiplegia by stroke, by apoplexy. This, and on the left side, this goes to legacies. So, alhamdulillah, this, <laughs> this is all about general symptoms of legacies i hope to go to mental symptoms, very important more important than general symptoms in the next day i hope all of you will be will be attending our lecture and, and because i told you already that this is a long study of mathematica i told mathematica are studied in two ways brief study and wide study long study this is long study but i put it also less this is this is much more in our note. I have 110 pages of 10 big full scale, full scale uh, paper. 110 pages of notes or legacies from so many books since maybe about 30 last years. So this is a long study. Why I say you, you go on long study because legacies is a very polycrest medicine. Sometimes I tell you, Vitulka said long times before that after studying a medicine, you just think about the medicine and try to get the essence of the medicine. What is the central point of the medicine? What is the keynote of the medicine? You try to think, 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 think. 
and you get the essence, you find the symptoms, okay, find a picture, okay, and also it is called essence. If you can perceive the essence of the medicine, then you learn it well. Sometimes I find my daughter, she writes history on another table on my side, and maybe I am seeing one old patient, follow up patient, and she's writing the history of a new patient. So, so my ear is open here. Sometimes I overhear that discussion. And I find that this patient is going to be like this because as I as I put my ear sometime, I become very much disturbed by the patient deliberation, narration, and telling of the symptom. And I I, I find that, that it, it is like essence, like order, like smell of legacies. If you learn it well, you can smell legacies in a patient. So when a patient talks or gives a history to another patient, and just you go on hearing the way she is discussing, so the way she is narrating her symptom, you find that this is going to be like a cis. Sometimes you find this patient is going to be nas vomica by the narration. Sometimes you find this patient is going to be oral metallica. You find the patient is going to be like a, like a, like a podium by the narration. This is the essence of the medicine. You learn all the medicine very, very well, very deeply, and you find a, a, a central keynote or you can say essence, yes, it is called essence. So maybe, maybe you took the history of a patient, the symptom does not say this is like a cyst. But you have you have a third eye inside. This third eye gets the essence to know this is like a cyst. You see, sometimes symptoms, what you found, it is not accepting like a cyst. But your essence is like this essence is more important. So that's why I'm telling. If we give more time in learning material medica, sure you will be a better doctor. I, I found many doctors knowing more and more organon. He knows organon. I, I found in my life two person in Bangladesh, they are half is a organon, half is one in like uh, Ras Shahi, another in Silet. They could, they could. Uh, memorize whole organ. Uh, uh, an aphorism, they can say verbatim. They are hafiz, like hafiz, but they are not good doctor, I found. They are not good prescriber, no. I find many a doctor, many a homeopath, very good in repertory. He's a master in repertory, but he's not a good prescriber. But I never found a doctor. <laughs> he knows very much of materia and he's not good doctor, no. He is very good in mathematics. He is a good prescriber. I am not. I am not undermining other subjects that he, he who knows more repertory. He cannot be. Yes, he can be a good prescriber. But I find who knows more mathematics, he becomes better than others. Of course, he must know organon. Of course, he must know uh, say, 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 repertory. But mathematics, if you know more and more, sure. You are going to be better and better prescriber. With this, with this message to you, I want to finish today. It's a long time already. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Dr. Anwar Patwari, I'm giving with the mic. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for your long and deep discussion uh, for our community. Uh, আমাদের উপস্থিতি আজকে বেশ ভালোই ছিল আমরা অলমোস্ট আমি আজকে পার্টিসিপেন্ট এলাউ করেছিলাম 140 এর মতো কিন্তু কন্টিনিউয়াসলি হচ্ছে যে আমরা পেছি 50 থেকে 60 এর মধ্যে অনেকেই হয়তো কারিগরি কোনো জটিলতার কারণে অথবা অন্য কোনো বিষয়ের কারণে অথবা ভাষাগত জটিলতার কারণে অল্প কিছু কোন থেকে চলে গেছেন তো সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আর যারা শুরু থেকে এখন পর্যন্ত আছেন তাদেরকে স্পেশালি থ্যাঙ্কস যে আপনারা শুরু থেকেই এখন পর্যন্ত আছেন এবং আস্তে আস্তে আমাদের ইংলিশ ক্লাসের পার্টিসিপেন্ট বাড়ছে এইজন্য সবাইকে আন্তরিক ধন্যবাদ এবং আমাদের সাথে যুক্ত থেকে আমাদের নিজেদেরকে সমৃদ্ধ করে আত্মমানবতার জন্য আমরা নিজেদেরকে যে প্রস্তুত করছি সেই জন্য তো আমাদের ক্লাসে যারা 
উপস্থিত আছেন পুরো ক্লাসটা শুনেছেন উপভোগ করেছেন আশা করি স্যারের ক্লাস থেকে আমরা খুব ভালো রকম উপকার পাবো ইনশাআল্লাহ আপনাদের কারো কোনো যদি প্রশ্ন আজকের ক্লাসের উপরে অথবা মন্তব্য থাকে মন্তব্য করতে পারেন আপনাদের জন্য আমরা মাইকটি উন্মুক্ত করব আপনাদের মাইক গুলো আনমিউট করে হ্যান্ড রাইজ করলে আমরা আপনাদেরকে নামগুলো এক এক ঘোষণা করতে পারবো আপনারা বাংলা ইংরেজি কোনো ভাবে প্রশ্ন করতে পারেন আমরা আমাদের স্যার প্রশ্নগুলোকে ইংরেজিতে আনসার করার করবেন আপনারা প্রশ্ন যে কোনো ভাবেই করতে পারেন যে কোনো ভাষায় ডক্টর আবু সাইদ চন্দন খুলনা সাইদ ভাই ইউ মাস্ট স্পিক সামথিং টু आवर ক্লাস ইউ ক্যান আনমিউট এন্ড টক ইন বেঙ্গলি ইংলিশ ইন এনিওয়ে ডক্টর আবু সাইদ চন্দন फ्रॉम খুলনা জি স্যার আপনি কি শুনতে পাচ্ছেন ডক্টর আবু সাইদ চন্দন maybe he is not there okay anybody can raise any question we can discuss for uh, another 5 to 7 minutes shibir ahmed i think he is here ji amader shibir ahmed sir achen amader shana city kam ma achen ji shibir ahmed sir hand raise korechen sir apnar mic ta unmute kore prashno apnar montobbo kore thank you very much welcome to so, so some people are leaving the class but what i find it here that's is so intriguing it's so interesting what you have said farooq bhai there is something like a novel and just like that it appeared to me it's like a novel I was enjoying it so much, so much. very very interesting. Hello to Doctor. He has done yes. a wonderful job, wonderful works for humanitarian job for mankind. So salute to him. Anyway, I was so when you had been discussing so the symptoms of legacies. So quickly found many of the patients. they just complains like this just complain so it's very often in very often we find patients coming up with symptoms say plug in the say hmm and us hey plug in and us more is often it happens that in fraud and they go for investigations in investigations all investigations are normal but their problem it's persist persist hey so and they suffer so much so uh, so many of the things is so interesting and, and for way what you were doing so even the latest material medica so you are just uh, you are working very hard and it's for us and i don't want to miss the opportunity to learn the latest things and so the old material medical that's very much uh, available we are going through it but the latest one it's not easy yeah, it's not easily available mm -hmm. and what's more important is uh, that in a single lecture we are getting everything so it's a host <laughs> this lecture is something so rich so rich i must have to say anywhere any homeopath in the whole world no not in bangladesh or the this subcontinent so anyone listening to this lecture I am very very sure as and regarding this English, uh, what I experience I listen both so when I I listen English lectures I listen bang, say Bangla lectures and so when I listen Bangla lectures is something a recapitulation yeah. so I remember it more and more listening reading li listen reading reading so i am enriching more and more and now sense by this lectures so for by thank you waiting for next lectures welcome welcome dr abu said chandan if you are here Uh, side by just unmute unmute 
stock cyber division yes. of abala uh, parishad and you know he is from a family of very enriched homeopathic uh, ancestry his father was a very renowned homeopath in khulna and they have i think uh, it's a very big name in khulna they are they are hanimen yes. bhavan and uh, uh, said bhai also he is doing huge work in rotarian uh, club helping people so said bhai you can speak little bit to enter uh, congregation thank you for bhai uh, assalam alaikum uh, i listen your lecture thoroughly and actually i knew many new things and i think it enriched my knowledge and i surely uh, it will help my practice in coming days uh, it's a really 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 very fantastic lecture you given and uh, we hope uh, your lecture will not only me i think every rotarian who are listening your lecture they will all be benefited and i hope you will continue this uh, thank you for uh, okay Doctor Shahana Siddi is here. Uh, Doctor Anwar Padri, you can ask her if she can comments from Canada. Yeah, uh, Doctor Shahana Siddi, come on. Can you hear? Yes. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Shabake. Ah, daily. I am. Je, shuni yar kali surprised hoy. Je, ato information. I am jani na koto pani. মনোযোগ সহকারে শোনার চেষ্টা করতেছি কিন্তু আজকে আমি একটা পার্ট মিস হয়ে গেছে আমার যে আপনি বললেন লেফট সাইড টু রাইট সাইড আবার লিভার এর ব্যাপারে রাইট সাইড টু লেফট সাইড সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট সো ক্যান ইউ প্লিজ এক্সপ্লেইন ইট টু মি अगेन সরি বাবা না 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 ইউ সি ইন आवर মেথেমেটিকা ইয়া देयर আর সাম মেডিসিন দে আর প্রি এমিনেন্টলি লেফট সাইডেড देयर আর সাম মেডিসিন প্রি এমিনেন্টলি রাইট সাইডেড বাট মেনি মেডিসিন no predilection for left or right side but even with left side medicine sometimes they have some exception even in right side medicine they have some exception say for example costicum it is a first grade right side medicine like 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 what you have costicum is first grade right side medicine <laughs> it they have exception yes it yes. has it has complaint on left hip also only first grade medicine costing over right side but in the hip joint in hip and disease it is first grade so this is exception to costing up because it right side but in the hip it is left side so like she is a left side medicine but it has some exception on the sciatica it is right side on sciatica it is not left side it is predilection is on right side and also on the liver trouble liver you know it is right sided but left is like it is no left sided it has much action on left. so these are the exception liver and sciatica less on the right side but all for all other symptom it is on left side so this is the thing uh, okay thank you so much thank you so welcome thank you very much uh সবার উদ্দেশ্যে একটা বিষয় বলার তা হচ্ছে আমাদের ফেসবুক ভিডিও হচ্ছে যে আমাদের এই প্রোগ্রামটি লাইভ টেলিকাস্ট হচ্ছে আপনারা যারা আজকে ক্লাসে উপস্থিত ছিলেন আমরা আপনারা জানেন আমরা আগেই ঘোষণা দিয়েছিলাম বাংলাদেশ হোমিওপ্যাথিক পরিষদের পক্ষ থেকে আমরা সিএইচএমই কন্টিনিউয়াস হোমিওপ্যাথিক মেডিকেল এডুকেশন এর আওতায় বছর শেষে আমরা যারা আমাদের নিয়মিতভাবে এই ক্লাসে উপস্থিত হয় আমরা তাদেরকে একটি সার্টিফিকেট প্রদান করব সেটার সুবিধার্থে সবাই কোন জায়গা থেকে উপস্থিত হচ্ছেন আমাদের ক্লাসে যুক্ত হচ্ছেন আপনার পূর্ণ নাম এবং ফোন নাম্বারটা দিলে আমরা সেটাকে সংরক্ষণ করতে পারি ক্লাস ওয়াইজ এতে আমাদের আপনাদের উপস্থিতিগুলো নিশ্চিত করতে সুবিধা হয় আপনারা আমাদের ফেসবুকের যে লাইভটা হচ্ছে সেখানে কমেন্ট সেকশনে অথবা আমাদের এই ক্লাসের কমেন্টস বক্সে আপনারা সেটা লিখে দিলে আমাদের জন্য উপকার হয় আর কারো যদি কোন প্রশ্ন বা মন্তব্য থাকে রেস করলে
uh, sir, I missed some class for uh, the lack of my device, but I like this class very much and we are proud of you. Uh, your class is very interesting. Today, you use now and then Bengali word. It makes it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I want to uh, uh, that uh, why is uh, Lachesis is cold? There any uh, cause? Okay, it is preeminently hot, but also it is given if there is cold pressure, but mostly hot pressure, but. Also, it can be given in too much cold blooded pressure, but this is less. More predilection is hot pressure. But cold, cold, also they said, they said, why it is more hot? Because it, it is found that Lachesis symptoms, these uh, snakes, the snakes, they are more prevalent on the earth on spring, on spring season. And in summer season, they say. In the cold season, they are in the in the in the height in their in their in their uh, what I say uh, in their nest under the earth or somewhere. But in the spring season, summer season, they come out. That's why they say lachesis like, symptoms are more on the spring season. You find lachesis like, uh, rheumatism, lachesis like, skin symptoms. They are aggravated in the summer season. Uh, in, in the spring, in the Boston Tokal, spring season. But of <laughs> course, of course, they said that if you find a patient, cold blooded patient, more cold, and other symptoms uh, specifies, you can give lachesis. But this is pre okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that for his uh, fantastic explanation of me attend uh, every classes, but uh, sometimes I missed a uh, few classes uh, for technical issues. Uh, my request is sometimes we missed and uh, we missed from, from uh, if it's possible, uh, there, uh, there, uh, we if we record the classes and uh, we open a, a YouTube page, YouTube or Facebook page, and uh, uh, if uh, it possible possible to upload next time recorded version it must be generated by it thank you so much yes, dr amar patel you can answer it ji dhonnobad amra ekashti niyomito bhabe korar chesta kori majhe majhe kichu technical issue er karone amra korte pari na goto dui tin soptaho dhore amra seta korte parchilam na to ei soptahe abaro amra live time e amader ei class ta ebong our facebook page e amra live korchi আপনি বাংলাদেশ সমিতিক পরিষদের ফেসবুক যে পেজটি আছে সেখানে গেলে এটা পাবেন আর গত সপ্তাহের যে ক্লাসটি হয়েছে সেটা রেকর্ডেড আছে আমরা এটা আপলোড আগামী কালকে সকালে আপনারা পেয়ে যাবেন শিডিউল করে আপলোড দিয়ে দিয়েছি যেহেতু আজকে ক্লাসটা হবে একই সাথে আমরা আপলোড দেইনি সেটা একান্তই আমাদের টেকনিক্যাল ইস্যুর কারণে গত দুই তিন সপ্তাহ ধরে আমরা সেটা করতে পারিনি ইনশাআল্লাহ আপনারা সামনের দিকে এগুলো আরো স্মুথলি পাবেন আমাদের ইউটিউব যে চ্যানেলটা আছে সেখানেও পাবেন আমাদের ফেসবুক পেজও পাবেন তবে এটার একটা নেগেটিভ ইম্প্যাক্ট পড়ে যে অনেকেই হচ্ছে ক্লাসে জাস্ট অ্যাটেন্ড করে চলে যায় আমি আজকে একশো চল্লিশ জনের কাছাকাছি বা চল্লিশ প্লাস আমি হচ্ছে যে ক্লাসে পারমিশন দিয়েছি কিন্তু উপস্থিতি হচ্ছে যে পঞ্চাশ থেকে ষাট এর মধ্যেই ছিল এর উপরে কন্টিনিউসলি ছিল না তো এটা হচ্ছে ওই অনেকের টেন্ডেন্সি থাকে জাস্ট অ্যাটেন্ড করে পরে হচ্ছে যে শুনে নেব এরকম একটা টেন্ডেন্সি থাকে এই জন্য লাইফ টাইমে শুনতে পারলে সবচেয়ে ভালো তবে অবশ্যই আমাদের স্যারদের যে লেকচারগুলো এগুলো আমাদের জন্য অনেক বড় 
ছোটখাটো কি বলবো মনে মুক্তার মতো আমরা এগুলোকে সংরক্ষণ করতে পারলে ভবিষ্যৎ প্রজন্ম এখান থেকে অনেক কিছু পাবে সেটাও সত্য আমরা সেই দিক বিবেচনা করেই হচ্ছে যে এগুলোকে সংরক্ষণ করার চেষ্টা করব এবং এগুলোকে নিয়মিত ভাবে আপলোড দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব এবং আপনার এই যে আর্ট আর এই আমরা প্রতি সপ্তাহেই মোটামুটি এই ধরনের দু একটি কমেন্ট পাচ্ছি এবং অনেকে আমাকে পার্সোনালি ফোন করে বলেন যে এগুলোকে আপলোড দেওয়ার জন্য আমরা সেগুলোকে চেষ্টা করছি এবং আমাদের আগের লেকচার গুলো অনেকগুলো আছে আমরা নিয়মিত ভাবে সামনে এগুলো দেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব আর কারো যদি কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে আপনারা জানেন আমাদের একটা ক্লাস হয় রবিবারে আর একটা ক্লাস হয় বুধবারে তো আগে আমরা সুবিধার জন্য আমাদের সুবিধার জন্য রবিবারে ক্লাসটা আমরা জুম মিটিং এ করি আর বুধবারের ক্লাসটা এই যে আমাদের গুগল মিটে তো এখন আমাদের একটা সাংগঠনিক ডিসিশন হতে যাচ্ছে যে আমরা হয়তো বা জুমের মধ্যেই দুইটা ক্লাস করতে পারি জুমটা রবিবার একটা পরিচালনা করবেন আমাদের সহসভাপতি ডাক্তার নজরুল ইসলাম খান সাহেব এবং বুধবার একটা পরিচালনা করবেন আমাদের তথ্য প্রযুক্তি সম্পাদক ডক্টর আনোয়ার পাটোয়ারি আমাদের এখনকার পোস্ট এটা আমরা হয়তো ঈদের পর থেকে ঈদের পর থেকে হয়তো আমরা জুমে চলে যেতে পারি এই একটা একটা সাজেশন আপনাদেরকে দিচ্ছি এবং তখন হয়তো আমরা আমরা আরো একটা আমরা আমাদের একটা মিটিং আছে নেক্সট নেক্সট উইকে আমরা একজনকে এখানে এমপ্লয়ি করব তিনি যেন প্রতিটা ক্লাস রেকর্ড করেন এবং আমাদের ইউটিউব চ্যানেলে দেওয়ার জন্য এটা আমরা একদম অফিসিয়ালি করার চেষ্টা করব কাজেই এখন যে অনেকে কমপ্লেন করছে যে পাচ্ছেন না বা মিস হচ্ছে আশা করি তখন মিস হবে না এইগুলো একটা দুই নম্বর হলো আমাদের এই শুক্রবারে আমাদের আমরা জানেন বাংলা সমিতি পরিষদ আমাদের বিভাগীয় সম্মেলন গুলা একের পর এক করার সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়েছি আমাদের ফার্স্ট সম্মেলন হচ্ছে রংপুর আর রাজশাহী ডিভিশনের যৌথভাবে এটা হচ্ছে এই শুক্রবারে পরশু দিন দিনাজপুরে তো এই জন্য এখানে থাকবো যারা এখানে দক্ষিণ উত্তরবঙ্গের আছেন আমাদেরকে আহ্বান করব যে এই সম্মেলন অ্যাটেন্ড করার জন্য ওইখানেও খুব ভালো সেমিনার হবে এখানে আমার একটা খুব ভালোই লেকচার থাকবে এটা হলো বেসিস অফ হোমিওপ্যাথিক প্রেসক্রিপশন হোমিওপ্যাথিক ব্যবস্থাপত্রের ভিত্তি খুব ভালো একটা আহ লেকচার হবে তো দুই ঘন্টার আমি বানিয়েছি এবং আরো এখানে লেকচারার থাকবেন তো এখানে খুব ভালো সেমিনার হবে প্লাস একটা সাংগঠনিক সম্মেলন যারা উত্তরবঙ্গের আছেন আমি আহ্বান করবো আপনার ওইখানে যোগ দিতে পারেন আর আমাদের ঈদের সময় রোজার সময় আমাদের ক্লাসটা বন্ধ থাকবে কারণ এটা নিজেই বুঝতেছেন রাতের বেলা অনেকে তারাবি পড়বে আমরা তারাবি পড়ব এই সময় আহ ক্লাসটা এই জন্য অসুবিধার কেন রোজা মাসে বন্ধ থাকবে হয়তো নেক্সট ক্লাসটা আমাদের লাস্ট ক্লাস হতে পারে রোজার আগে বা আমি জানি না এরপরে যদি আরেকটা বুধবার আমরা পাই আমি আশা করছি লেখিসিসটা ইংলিশ ভার্সনটা রোজার আগে শেষ করে রোজার পরে এর বাংলা ভার্সনটা শুরু করব তো এই ইনফরমেশনটুকু আপনাদেরকে দিচ্ছি আমার মনে হয় আনোয়ার পটারই আপনি এন্ড করতে পারেন ধন্যবাদ সবগুলো কথা এবং আপনারা যারা নিয়মিত ভাবে আমাদের সাথে যুক্ত হয়ে এই ক্লাস আমাদেরকে এবং জীর্ণ নিজেদেরকে সংযুক্ত রাখছেন আমাদের এই কাজের মতো আমরা এখানে বিদায় নিচ্ছি এবং মহান রবের দরবারে দোয়া কামনা করছি আল্লাহ রবুল আলমিদের যেন আমাদের জ্ঞানের সমৃদ্ধি দান করেন আমাদের স্যারদেরকে আরো দীর্ঘায়ু দান করেন যেন দীর্ঘদিন আমাদের মধ্যে এই হোমিওপ্যাথির জ্ঞান বিনিময় করতে পারেন এবং আমাদের স্যারের কথা ধরেই একটি কথা বলতে চাই হোমিওপ্যাথির জন্য আমরা যেন পজিটিভলি উন্মাদ হতে পারি সেই জায়গাটা যেন আল্লাহ রবুল আলমিন আমাদেরকে দান করেন আজকের মতো বিদায় নিচ্ছি আল্লাহ সবাইকে সুস্থভাবে সুন্দরভাবে জীবন অতিবাহিত করার তফিক দান করুন আমিন আসসালামু আলাইকুম রাহমতুল্লাহ